What is up, rockers of the Rock Nation? This is your fellow rocker here, X Rocker Man X. And well, I know I haven't been seen all week because I've been lazy and literally procrastinating with YouTube and all that. But um, really, before I start anything with the video, what I want to talk about is this channel. So you, so anybody that comes across this channel knows as newer to this channel this channel isn't supposed to be all about wrestling and it's really not all about wrestling it's just whatever topic i decide to talk about is what comes up in the video best way to put it whether it be gaming review whatever and you guys can pretty much tell that by walking dead review stuff like that but yeah on to what i actually want to talk about and the first thing i want to talk about is well i'm late to the party on it but AJ Lee officially retiring from the WWE. And now, this was obviously a long time coming. There was rumors talked about it before. I'm going to say either Survivor Series or TLC. It was one of the two. I forget exactly when it was. But really, all I got to say is, like I said, long time coming. It makes sense, you know, because AJ Lee kind of wants to be Instead of being, to my opinion, I don't, to me, she kind of wants to be more with Punk now since they are married, you know. He's in UFC now, stuff like that. But overall, all I gotta say is thank you, AJ Lee, hashtag, or hashtag thank you, AJ Lee. Whatever you want to put it in, whatever she does in the future, that's really all I gotta say. And like I said, good luck to her, but, um,. But I really, other than her retiring, again, she is one of my favorite divas of the modern era, if you want to put it like that. But the bigger question is with her retiring, and this is the main thing I really want to talk about with her retiring. At, and I'll get more on it, but shit, I forgot what I was going to say. But where does that leave the divas division for WWE currently? Now, I'm not trying to be a dick here, but to me, with the Divas, all they have is Natalia, Paige, two of the Divas, two, that's two Divas left I can think of that can wrestle, um, Brie Bella, she's supposed to leave after a while to become a mom, or whatever it is exactly, and all that would leave would be Nikki, if Nikki doesn't leave with her, which I doubt, because you know it's going to turn, with all this at Extreme Rules, probably going to be some kind of Bella feud, stuff like that, and... Other than Nikki Bella, Paige, and Natalia, who else do they have? Summer Rae, which you rarely see on TV. Cameron, which you rarely see half the time. Um, let me think who else I can think of. Alicia, Alicia Fox. I don't even know what to say about her. And... Naomi, which, no offense to anyone who likes Naomi, they're basically making her an, a, a female version of the Usos. Not trying to be rude by saying that, but to me, it's in a way it's true. Only because she's married to Jimmy or Jay. I forget which one she's actually married to, but whatever. So yeah, that only leaves with three divas that, in my opinion, will do any good. I mean, again, not trying to be rude, it's in my opinion. Natalia, Paige, and Nikki Bella once Brie goes out. And I don't know what to say. It's just... That's really all I got to say. That's the fucked up part about it. They're going nowhere right now with Divas Division. And with, like, the WWE games, what's the last game Divas going to be in that people actually give a fuck about? Or... How long will the Divas division in WWE last before a lot of them gets their pink slips? I mean, don't get me wrong. There's talented Divas down in NXT, like like Ric Flair's daughter Charlotte. Sasha Banks can be considered part of it. And some I know there's some others that I can't think of. But still, it's just fucking ridiculous. That's really all I gotta say. And as like I said, as for AJ Lee retirement goes, good luck with her. And all her future endeavors. Hashtag thank you AJ Lee. And I will say, for a two to three time at Divas Champion right now is a pretty damn good stint. And we're all going to miss her. That's definitely true. 
And that kind of wraps up my whole food for thought process on the Divas division right now after since now AJ Lee retired, but um and I'm not trying to freaking be rude on Divas Division, but it's true. I mean, I know there's a whole hashtag give Divas a chance going around that's been going around. It's just again where is it going now? What's going to happen with it? That's my opinion, but hey. And honestly, they just need to do something fresh with it to re to rejuvenate it. That's I think that's the main thing I'm trying to get get the Lella. The main point I'm trying to get across here. They need to do something to rejuvenate it. Whatever. Um, but now that I said that, that leads me to my next thing I want to talk about, and that is Live with Chris Jericho, a.k.a. the Live Talk is Jericho podcast with John Cena tonight. And to be honest, surprisingly, I'm not a John Cena fan, but as a professional wrestling fan, after hearing John Cena's stories about him canceling a married couple to not get a divorce, who knows where the fuck they are nowadays, or... Him tucking Chris Jericho in, and this one they were in Alaska, and you know some other stuff. When John Cena was in OVW with you know Brock, Shawn Benjamin, um, shit, Randy Orton, fucking Batista, and other guys that was later in WWE, and as well as him being the first ever and only reverse second gen superstar. It's and just hearing like the stories about The Rock and the possible heel turn. They talked about him actually most likely wanting to do it, but it's weird. I I apologize, says, but I I gained, uh, like I said, as a professional wrestling fan, as a professional wrestling fan, I can't talk right now, I gained a lot of respect for John Cena, and some of you guys might say I suck and stuff like that, but it's also nice to see him agree with me. Some of my friends here on YouTube and other guys I know that's like, when he put it like, you know, the WB Universe, we ask, they ask for new, and when they get new, they're like, fuck that shit, it's not good enough. And it's nice to see that he and probably a lot of other people would agree with it. Chris Jericho probably agrees with it as well, but, you know, it's just like, like I said, a whole new respect for John Cena, and I really don't care what people... Say about me saying saying that it's just that's basically all I gotta say. And to be honest, some people say John Cena seems like a dick in real life. Now I get it was on WWE Network and stuff like that, so he probably was told to say some of these things. But even hearing about like his first meeting with Vince, it was just hilarious, and I laughed during the inter- during the interview and stuff like that. So that's re- it's just really interesting. And stuff like that interests me when you hear from people like, you know I'm trying to say, and then hear him being a heel like OVW and working his way up and getting that identity and as a, as, as a Dr. Thugonomics, which was my favorite Cena incarnation on, back when I was actually a fan of him. And I'm not necessarily a fan of him now, I just have more respect for the guy and it's probably a lot more respect. And that, and that's for sure. I can't really have nothing else to say on it. That was just my opinion on it. I mean, just like I said, from stuff he said. I'm trying to think of some more stuff he said. And I can't even think of right now because I I caught the podcast kind of like a few minutes late and buffering and stuff like that. But I'm trying to think what else he said that actually was kind of funny to me. Shit. Why was it? Oh, yeah, and too, when he was, I'm sorry for the pause there, but when he was talking about the Rock Town Wing dressing room and offering, like, the white lightning, the jar of white lightning and stuff like that, and I kind of found that kind of funny. Like, him trying to make a peace offer with the Rock and how their thing was strictly professional, it wasn't, like, gen- genuine hate for each other. And that's about the time they was thinking about the John Cena Hill turn, which kind of would have been a good point for it to happen and stuff like that, but. Like I said, a lot more respect for the guy, and that's really all I got to say on this subject. I mean, if you guys have an opinion, 
let me know. Facebook me, or like I said, Facebook me in the comments. Twitter me, or tweet me, I should say, because, you know, blah, blah. Links to both of them are down down in the subscription or description. You know, like my videos, subscribe to it, leave your opinions down in the comments, whatever. But yeah. And I'm actually interested to know what your guys' opinions are about both AJ Lee retiring and John Cena what stuff he said tonight. Because again, these are just my opinion or my opinion my opinion is just after what he said, a lot more respect for the guy. And as AJ Lee retiring, where's the Divas division going to go? But really, until next time, Rockers, live free and rock.